Look, I just really need to make this vlog. And I've been meaning to make this vlog for the longest time. I've just kept putting it off, putting it off, and doing other things. But you know what? Today, today I just had to make it. Today I had to make it because today, February 10th, 2010, with all that I've done on YouTube, all that I've said on Twitter, okay? Somebody sent me a message on my Facebook when I posted Diggy's picture on my Facebook yesterday. Sends me a message today saying, and sweetheart, you know who you are. She sends me a message. She says, hello. I said, hi, how you doing? She says, oh, I like your videos. Thank you. Are you gay straight or bi? Now, I had to think, right, because I was like, because I had my answer ready, quick, don't get it twisted. My answer was ready like this, but that was my Kanye West answer, and I got to control my inner Kanye, okay? I got to control my inner Kanye West, okay? So I had to come with my Beyonce. I had to sit down for a minute, let me think, let me marinate, and do the right thing and shit, you know? Let me act like I got some sense. But my inner Kanye was conflicting with my Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? My inner Kanye West was like, will you let that bitch know? Will you let that bitch know? I was like, nah, inner Kanye, I can't do it. So what I said to her was, I'm going to need you to go back and watch my videos. Plain and simple. I said it to her just like that. I'm going to need you to go back and watch my videos. This bitch, oh, I, well, I don't want to call you a bitch. I'm sorry. I, I don't want to call you a bitch. This girl sends me a message back and says, I'm trying to be away from anything because I don't want to throw nothing. This bit, she sends me a message and she says, Which one? I said to her right then and there, because my inner Kanye West was like, Brian, if you don't answer this child, you know what I'm saying? I was like, nah, Kanye, my, my inner Beyonce came up and she said, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Never mind. Okay? With that, I, I just I couldn't talk to her no more after that shit. Because then something me was like, well, you know what, Brian, why don't you just find out how old she is? Maybe she's young. Maybe she a young buck, don't know no good, you know, still got milk in her tongue, slow down a little one. You know what I'm saying? Find out how old she is. She was born in 1990, which means she's about, what, 19... 20 years old, right? About that age, some shit like that. I don't know. So, I'm like, well, damn it, she old enough to know. She old enough to know. So let me just tell you the etiquette on are you gay. Let me just tell you the etiquette on that. And the etiquette on that is, it's a rude question. It's a rude question. Depending on who you are to me is when you can ask me that. If you're a close friend, if you go with me or you want to go with me, I can understand that. And when a close friend asks, asks me that, it should be a conversation between me and you, not with an audience. Not in front of everybody. It's between me and you. Especially if you feel like I'm in the closet. You should ask me personally. You know, pull me to the side. You know, I've known you for a while. I just want to ask this question. You know, are you gay? I get it then. If we in a club, and you see me in the club, and you walk up to me, and you a female, you walk up to me, you dance with me like, damn, you kind of cute as shit. But I'm putting a little bit of, how you doing into my dance? You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit of, hmm. Right then and there, I understand the question. Because in the club, we're all looking for that potential mate. Because um, that should be one of your questions, one of your 21 questions, are you gay? I get it then. I get it then. But if we just walking down the street, if you're my co-worker, you're my classmate, bitch, you don't know me. Don't walk up to me and ask me that question because you will get red. You will get red or get the shit slapped out of you. And trust me, gay men don't have no problem with slapping bitches at all. Or niggas. Or niggas. Because a lot of dudes get that shit twisted. Let me tell you something. Because B. Scott told you in one of his videos, B. Scott told you, I'm six foot tall. Okay? I'm a man. Don't make me grab this Buddha. Okay? Don't make me grab this Buddha, bitch. You know, they don't know. That's one thing about Diggy that I like. There's some gay dudes out there that be getting their little fag on and be like, ah! But Diggy, damn it, if I'm fighting this motherfucker right next to me like this shit here, we both fight in the same fucking way. I was brought up around boys. Brought up around boys, played nothing but football all the time, played in the goddamn ditch, chasing dogs, playing baseball, basketball. That's how I grew up. You know what I'm saying? 
Diggy got two brothers and a father. Okay, so he grew up around nothing but boys. He is how he is, though, whatever, how you doing, but motherfucker, you hit him, he gonna hit you back. But the reason why I also say that about um, the question, are you gay? Because you can't ask that question, answer that question in front of, you can't, depending on where you are, being gay can be safe, and being gay can be very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Like, for instance, Diggy and I, when we were in New York, while we were chilling in the village, we could hold hands in the village. Hold hands and shit, and it was lovely. But once you get back to certain parts of New Jersey, we had to let go of hands. Because we could get hurt. We could get jumped like that. It is what it is. It's a fucked up situation, but that's how life is right now for us. People don't know that shit. Hold on. How much time we got, girl? How much time we got? I got enough time to tell my damn... Let me tell you this damn story. Diggy and I had a beautiful night in New York, right? Beautiful night. We spent all this time together. We was real cool, happy. We get on the train to have a ride home from the train. He and I are sitting together on the train. There's a dude and his girlfriend sitting behind us. The entire time, he's making slurs and talking real slick about gay people. Oh man, fuck these fags out here. I fuck a fag up. Y'all fucking the ass, this, that, and other. But he's not really talking directly to Diggy and I. He's not saying it to us. But he's saying it so that we can hear it. He know that the, the two people in front of him were gay. But he never brought it to us. He's just talking shit in the back. However, had he brought his ass around that 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 uh that chair into our section, he'd got his ass whooped. Trust and believe. If he'd have brought that shit to me, would brought it to me, boom, <laughs> would have fucked him up. But you know what? It really didn't fuck up our night because, in all honesty, which is real sad though, it's real fucking sad. We're used to that. We're used to hearing assholes that want to criticize gay people and go on and on and on and on about that shit for hours. You know, trying to fuck up our night, make us feel bad and shit. We're used to that shit. You know, as long as you don't fuck with us, whatever, say what you want to say, bitch. I really don't care. But anyway. That's what I wanted to say. You know, there's an appropriate time to ask, to ask me that question, depending on who you are, where you are. You know what I'm saying? Depending on who you are to me, depending on where we are, there's an appropriate time to ask that question. But most of the time, that's a rude question. It's rude. So if you don't know somebody like that, if you suspect they may be gay, that's your suspicion. Keep that to yourself. You feel that way, like, mm, I think she might be gay. And you sit there in your fucking cubicle and think that shit. Don't bring it over to me. Don't come over there and ask me. Don't ever feel like don't ever feel comfortable enough to ask me that question. You know what I'm saying? Don't ask, and that's what, and you know some other shit. I want to say this too because I got people in my family who are mixed. Don't bring that shit to mixed people either. Why do you feel like you can walk up to somebody because they light skin with some curly ass kinky Negro hair? You will walk up to them. What you mixed with? Really? Really? First of all, it's none of your fucking business. Why are you asking me that? Mind you, who, who the fuck are you? Unless, the only time I can understand somebody walking up to you and say, are you mixed? Is if, damn it, we in the club and you're trying to find a potential mate. I get it. I understand. What, what, what you mixed with? You got Indian blood? I understand it then. You're, I understand it. Or if, like I said, same for the game with the gay thing. We've known each other for a while. You know me. You my friend. We friends. Oh, by the way, what, are you mixed? What's your, what's your ethnicity? What you, what you is? What's your ethnicity? That's word, in. This is the last thing I got to say before I go, because I'm rambling. I'm just talking about absolutely nothing. I was watching um, the History Channel today, and it was a show about the gorilla. You know the gorilla that mauled that lady, fucked all up, beat her ass up, and ripped her face off and lips, and ripped her lips off and wiped his gorilla ass with him. You know what I'm saying? Y'all saw that? Y'all probably didn't see it. But it was a special on the History Channel about that. And come to find out, over 20 some states don't have a law, including New York, don't have a law that, that makes it illegal to own exotic animals. Over 20 some states don't have that law. Like, it's 20 states where you can own a fucking tiger. You know what I'm saying? It's 20 some states where you can go outside, your neighbor owns a fucking gorilla that's going to come out that house and kill your ass, rip your fucking face off and your nuts and shit, and bite on your titties. It's right next door. Only five states have legalized gay marriage. Hold on. Let me just see how much time I got left for I can flip. Not much. Only five states have legalized gay marriage. So that just goes to show y'all 
how crazy America is. It's okay to own a fucking gorilla and live next door. But damn it, if you gonna live next door and be married to a man and you a man, oh, oh hell no! That's just crazy! LGBT, we got a long way to go, girl. Whew, I tell you.